So when we talk about average global, global temperature rising because of climate, d does that relate exactly to oceans warming as well? Or does that happen separately? Um, it's a little bit of a separate thing. It, it, it's, it's an influence for sure. Um, as the atmosphere warms, the ocean soaks up a lot of that. So the, yeah, the ocean has, a, has absorbed a lot of the heat that we've made. Um, but when it comes to hurricanes, let me go back to the cross section that sliced through a hurricane. Um, one of the other things that's important for how strong a hurricane can become is not just how warm the ocean is down there, but it's how cold the outflow is up top. So the air is coming in at, at the, the uh, in through the low levels, right near the ocean, up through the clouds, and then the outflow up top. So if what's important is the temperature difference between the ocean and the outflow, then just having a warmer ocean, but you, you're keeping the outflow the same, okay, that can get you a, a more intense storm. But what if the, the atmosphere is warming such that the outflow is also warm and the ocean is warmer? Well, that doesn't get, get you a net gain. Hmm. So it's important to think of where the atmosphere is warming and how much the, the ocean is warming compared to the atmosphere. Like all that comes into play here. Hmm. So if I understand you right, it's the, the strength comes from the difference between the inflow from the ocean and the outflow into the atmosphere. You got it. So conceivably, if, if you had the atmosphere get warmer and the ocean did not get warmer, then you could actually see a reduction in the intensity of the hurricane? Yes. Just in, yep. inside that hypothetical? Yeah. So wh what other things influence, so, so what, what, I guess you mentioned the Gulf Stream. Um, as something that relates to the 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 amount of water or the the um, I guess how far the water comes inland that that has an influence on water level I think w was what I got from that yeah does yeah. that also influence temperature or what are some of the things that go into warming the the water um, the Gulf Stream isn't a huge player for that I mean that, that's a natural current that runs through the ocean. The, the ocean's loaded with, it's not, it's not just like some calm bathtub, you know, it's loaded <laughs> with, with uh, warm currents, cold currents, you know, some of them move quite quickly, some of them are kind of slow, some of them are deep. You have deep ocean currents, you've got some near the surface. So it's like doing all sorts of crazy mm -hmm. things. Um, the, the Gulf Stream just happens to be a warm ocean current off the U.S. East Coast, warm meaning it's transporting warm water from the tropics northward, and this is why places like uh, the U U U.K. and Northern Europe are as warm as they are. It's because of the Gulf Stream. Mm. Uh, it's transporting lots of warm water from the tropics, wraps around the U.S. East Coast, up the north side of the Atlantic o Ocean um, and so it, it's an influence as far away as you know why is it so warm in winter in England like they're far enough north that it should freeze and it hardly mm -hmm. does <laughs> um, so anyway yeah, it, it's a it, it is an important ocean current um, and it it takes on basically what the ocean temperatures are. So if the, the ocean's warming, it's going to be warming too.